With the Shawal moon sighted Thursday night, journalists in the FCT flooded the National Eid Prayer Ground located along the airport road Friday morning, believing the president would observe the Eid Prayer there. To their shock, the president's convoy drove into the Mambila barracks where he joined other Muslim faithfuls to observe the prayers conducted by Chief Imam of the barracks, Captain Sabiu Muhammad Yusuf. After the prayer, the FCT minister, Malam Mohammed Musa Bello, who had prayed at the National Eid Prayer Ground, led the delegation of the FCT to pay the usual Salah homage. In his speech, President Buhari harped on the need for Nigerians to unite and cooperate to move the nation forward. We will continue to pray that uh, we keep on together and let us develop the necessary confidence to work together as a people. This country is great. Let us work together so that we can save a lot more and exploit more of the resources that we abandoned so many years ago. The president disclosed that fasting during the month of Ramadan had made him stronger despite worries in some quarters over his health and age. Elia, leader of the delegation and minister of the FCT, Malam Bello, has thanked the president for receiving them while calling on Nigerians to support governments at all levels to succeed. And to also reaffirm our appreciation as residents of the FCT for the opportunity God has given us to serve as the host to the president and the federal government of Nigeria. The delegation, which comprises of both Christians and Muslim clerics, as well as political office holders, presented a salah card to the president. The entire residents of the FCT rejoice with you, our dear president, President Muhammad Buhari. The strength to continue to steer the affairs of our nation well, so that generations to come will thank God for your time. In Jesus' name. Amen. President Muhammadu Buhari's appeal for cooperation and unity as Salah is obviously apt. But many have over the years suggested that for Nigeria to remain a strong united nation, primordial sentiments such as religion and tribalism must be discarded. From the Asurok Presidential Villa, Amikaro Atta, ITV News, Abuja.